Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, for today's video I've decided to go outside as you can see uh, in light of the fact that guess what? It's spring! There's leaves on the trees now and the flowers are blooming. It's fantastic. So uh, it's actually about 70 degrees out here uh, which is uh, about 21 Celsius I think give or take uh, for those of you who use that. So. It's absolutely. It's actually a little bit too warm for me. It's flaring my symptoms up a little bit, but uh, it's not terrible, I guess. So, hope you can all get outside and enjoy the weather. Anyway, uh, in lieu of the temperature and the wonderful season, I decided to make a video about one of my other projects that I've built that happens to be right next to me at the moment. So, uh, as you remember from my previous video about the solar battery backup lighting system, um, I have a huge fascination with alternate energy, wind power, solar power, all that sort of thing, and I was actually an environmental science major in college, uh, and I did graduate, I managed to pull through my symptoms and graduate, I had them for a year and a half, but uh, as part of my recovery from the worst part of my symptoms, uh, I ended up building that little solar battery backup lighting system. And then about a year after that, which would be last fall, uh, fall of 2009, I built this unit that I'm going to show you in a second. And this also uses solar energy, uh, but it's in a different way. Whereas the lighting system used the solar energy as electricity, this system actually generates heat. So this is my solar heater. Uh, as you can see, there's two parts to it. This is a solar panel that generates electricity, and I'll get into, the, into that in a minute. Uh, but this here is what I built, and it's a very simple construction. It's just made out of 1 by 4 inch pine uh, as the sides of the box, and then the back of it is quarter inch plywood, um, and there's a little stand that I've got it on. But inside of the box, there is half inch thick uh, rigid foam insulation, it's like the pink or blue stuff that you see, and I wrap that in aluminum foil, and that lines the back and also the sides of the box. And then the main part of the collector is actually these columns that you see right here, which are actually made out of beer and pop cans uh, that have been friction fit together to form nice columns. And then those were spray painted flat black with a high temperature spray paint so they'd absorb the sun's energy and those get headers attached to the top and bottom and then that was inserted into the box at which point I then caulked around all of the top surfaces and laid a sheet of eighth inch plexiglass on top of it and that's really the majority of the collector unit. Now there's a hole in the top and the bottom in those header units that lets the air go in and out of the collector but that's pretty much it. So the way this solar collector works is the solar panel that's on top here actually goes into the house and connects up to a blower unit that blows air from inside the house through a tube into the bottom of the collector here. And you, you can't see that, I apologize. The flip camera has a very narrow field of view, so I can't put everything in. But uh, the, suffice it to say, the header that is up here, right here, this, this open area, it's just like that at the bottom. So the air flows into that, and then because the headers are sealed, as you can see here, all around with caulk, the air has nowhere else to go but through the open columns. So the air flows from the bottom up through the columns where it collects all the heat, then pools in the top header, and then goes back out and into the house. Here's what it looks like up close. Here you can see the hole that's cut into the bottom header that lets the air into the collector. And in order to provide an outlet, I actually took a can, just a soup can, and cut the edges about half an inch in all the way around and flared those out and then inserted that into the hole in the back of the box. And that served as a hookup for my dryer vent that I'm using to pump the air to and from the house. Here's what the back of the unit looks like. You can see the dryer vent that I have wrapped in insulation and aluminum foil and plastic and duct tape. <laughs> um, and 
I obviously would not want to do that if I was going to permanently install one of these, which you can do. You just cut two holes in the walls of your house and put the solar collector right flush onto the wall. So there wouldn't be any of this ugly tubing if you did it permanently. So here's the bracket that I built for the unit to go in and out of the window. As you can see, there's the tubes going from the collector to the house. And all this bracket actually is is a piece of wood uh, with a rigid foam insulation backing, the same kind of insulation that I used in the collector unit, actually. And then I just have our window set down right on top of that with this other piece of insulation there to, to provide a little bit better seal.